Hi friends. As I've been in the house now for a couple of weeks, I've sometimes noticed anxiousness building up in me. It's caused me to find a new focus for all this extra nervous energy I've been feeling. And so I've been feeling much better when I get outside and move around. Maybe you felt that way too, because I've seen lots of families in our neighborhood running and walking and biking. I'm finding that my usual excuses for not exercising are fading away and moving is becoming less of a pain and more of a necessity. It's helping me cope right now. It's helping me rest better at night, have more peace in my heart, and even have more patience with my family. So it got me thinking about a passage in James that says, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. You see, hard times cause us to exercise our faith muscle. And just like the physical exercise that's good for me and helps me grow strong, I can use these difficult circumstances to grow my faith. Now, while it may be easy for us to focus on what's going wrong right now, we can exercise our faith muscle by lifting our eyes off of our circumstances and putting them on God. 2 Timothy 2.13 says, If we are unfaithful, He remains faithful, for He cannot deny who He is. Isn't it comforting to know that God's faithfulness will never end? He continues to be faithful to the promises He has made, and He will never change. So not only can we build our faith by taking our eyes off our circumstances and putting them on God, we can also build our faith by remembering past times in our life when God has held us and comforted us and led us through events that we thought were impossible to get through. When I look back on my life, I can see with 2020 vision that God is good and He's helping me through all those difficult circumstances. We can also choose to look forward, believing that there are good things to come, that our struggle is not in vain and not without hope. Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do good things planned for us long ago. We can grow our faith by looking forward to the opportunities that will come in the future so that as our faith grows, we can be ready to demonstrate the faith that we have in Jesus. James goes on to say in chapter 2 that faith without works is dead. Friends, faith rightly grown spills out into our actions and it shows the world around us who God is. In some ways, I've hesitated to bring this verse to you because what we're going through right now, it's really hard. And honestly, I've been grieving our lives that have been turned upside down and going all which way. I've had moments of anger and anxiousness and depression that have crept in. And if you're feeling that way too, it's okay. Please know that you're not alone. I want you to know this first is not a platitude. It's not just a get over it or put on a happy face. It's a real life opportunity to grab hold of Jesus. In the moments of frustration, you can turn to Him. When anxiousness flares, seek Him. When you feel overwhelmed, rest in Him. We can be joyful that the circumstances that come our way are the things that are driving us to our knees, where we find God, who is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. Friends, if that's you today, use these muscles of faith, exercise them, make them stronger, grow in Him, so that we can be perfect and complete, needing nothing. That is our, my prayer for all of us today.